So I'm Stefan Catlas. I'm in charge of marketing for uh, Thales Embedded products um, covering uh, consumer uh, electronics and IoT uh, with eSIM products and IoT service offerings as well. So Thales is a big group uh, involved in uh, defense, but also in digital security. So I'm be I belong to this part of the, of the group. I think the, the, the word that uh, comes to my mind is acceleration. Especially in the consumer market, we had a very tough year last year with the, the uh, uh, market uh, for the smartphones uh, kind of collapsing. It was the worst year, maybe in 10 years. Yeah? Uh, so it was very difficult to have new products, especially with eSIM, uh, uh, release on the market. And this impacted, I think, essentially the mid-range smartphones that we were expecting. So. Uh, it was it was a tough year, but still um, the um, overall growth of the uh, of the market was uh, something like, well, let's say, low double digits, uh, approximately. And this year, if we look at what's going on, uh, the market is going to accelerate. Uh, so that's really on the consumer side. On the IoT side, the the growth is more steady, I would say. Uh, even though the uh, automotive market, which is a big, uh, big uh, segment for, for the IoT uh, and for eSIM, is uh, still recovering uh, for sure. But uh, it's, uh, this uh, steady uh, increase will, uh, will continue in 2023. So acceleration, I think, will be the, 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 the keyword for this year. And we expect uh, growth in the double digit, high double digit uh, for, for, for the eSIM shipments this year. I think it's still the same trend uh, with digitalization uh, that's uh, happening everywhere, be it on the consumer side of the market or on the IoT side as well. Um, but the, um, the, the, the big move uh, of last year with Apple launching eSIM only smartphones in, in the US was very important. I think it's, uh, it's uh, really a, a big uh, milestone uh, for, for, for the market and we expect other uh, other uh, smartphone makers to follow uh, in the coming years. On the on the IoT side, uh, I think the need to connect more and more objects, more divers to cover more use cases is still there. So I think it's a very important evolution in the eSIM story. So we had these two first phases, uh, the first for the machine to machine and then uh, the consumer electronics smartphones mainly. Uh, now comes the time of IoT and uh, this, is, uh, this is very interesting because the simplicity that the market is uh, looking for is actually uh, the, uh, answered by these specifications that are coming. So we see them as uh, accelerators. Uh, actually of the market. Uh, it will take some time because specifications are just uh, being released um, and I think SGP32 will be released in a few months, in a couple of months, and then you need some time to have the products ready to deploy them on the field. But uh, clearly there's a high expectation. Uh, we launched a commercial offer based on the same principles last year, so a few customers uh, decided to go without waiting for the standards. But now uh, we interrogated a lot of uh, different uh, uh, prospects and potential customers. They say, okay, as soon as we have the standard, we'll go for it. So it's, uh, it's pretty, pretty exciting, actually. Yeah. There, there are different types of barriers. So the first ones are maybe related to the, to the macroeconomic conditions. And uh, I spoke a little bit before about uh, the smartphone uh, market uh, collapsing and recovering. It's more difficult to, to launch new products uh, for, for device makers clearly today. So that, that's one thing and this is why we expect uh, mid-range smartphones only this year in volume and that, that was the reason, clearly. Um, on the other side, uh, there's a need to develop the awareness around the theme for the end users on the, on the consumer, uh, consumer side. For the, um, the IoT, I spoke about the simplicity brought by uh, HGP 31, 32, and that's probably one of the biggest uh, hurdles at the moment. So that's why we are very excited to see this uh, specification uh, published, available, implemented, and then uh, rolled out uh, with uh, products and solutions. We have a pretty complete offer, meaning that we are able to serve OEMs, the device makers for consumer and IoT. So we have a range of products, 
uh, with the, the eSIM as a standalone uh, product up to the uh, integrated SIM uh, that uh, we, uh, we are developing uh, for the consumer market but also for the IoT market. We have the combination of uh, the eSIM with uh, a secure element for uh, smartphones and specific, specifically for contactless services like payment, transportation and future uh, EID as well, for instance. But we also provide uh, many services to our customers. So it's more for the mobile network operators or the IoT service providers so they can, with our solution, uh, download uh, these uh, um, uh, subscription profiles to the eSIMs. They can manage their inventories, they can predict what is going to happen, and they can also deploy uh, fleets of devices and manage them uh, remotely easily. So that's a, that's a whole because we, it's not just about the remote SIM provisioning technology, just the eSIM product. You need to have a 360 view, I would say, of the, of the matter, and this is what uh, we are trying to do.